professional anywhere around the globe will tell you that the world of business is getting smaller every day. But even with the ability to share information with the push of a button, many in the global marketplace have not yet adopted pre-employment background screening in the same way their Western counterparts have. Vivek Khanna, former APAC chair and current chairman of the NAPBS Global Advisory Council, represents screening providers in more than 50 nations, including China, Australia, Japan, and Singapore, to India, Pakistan, the UAE, and many more. He says the goal of the APAC chapter is to increase the penetration of employment screening in those countries domestically at their local level, teaching employers and governments how pre-employment screening can help them, not just American companies and big multinational interests doing business on their soil. During a recent interview, Khanna told me it is illegal to do any type of criminal check in so many of these nations, but he also stresses that criminal checks are not the only powerful resource available. In most of those countries, the infrastructure as of now is not really developed enough from the criminal side. But employment screening is not just about the criminal check. And that's something which is a mistaken part in the US. Uh, yeah, because in the US, most people think employment screening, criminal check. Employment screening is about ensuring that the candidate that you are hiring, number one, is safe, um, is ethical, right? and does not lie. And how do you check that they do not lie? Is that you check whatever they have presented to you, um, either as form of their financial strength or in terms of their education or their academics. So in these countries, education check and academic check becomes, and the reference check becomes far more important. And you get a lot more hits because a lot of people in these countries will fudge their resume. In many of these countries, conducting widespread pre-employment screening would require a full-blown paradigm shift. But are they receptive? Yes, increasingly. While it, it has been primarily driven by the American companies um, because of their contracts saying, if you want to do work for us, you have to ensure that you know it is done. Um, the financial houses, whether it's insurance banks, um, mutual funds, investment funds, they've always been doing the, the checks, right? Because it's, it's, it was financially prudent to make sure that you, you didn't get somebody who would uh, embe embezzle funds. But now increasingly more and more companies are seeing it as a strong talent policy that you do take uh, people through a, a screening system. And that's what my, my role today is to get the membership riled up about education and reaching out there. If you would like to learn more about international background screening, visit us at ebiinc.com. Thanks for joining us.